to wait for the log trucks. That's what East Texas is known for. Big logs. Pine trees, look at them all lined up. <laughs> This video is on our trip to Caddo Lake State Park. It's an area that's known for its huge cypress trees. This is uh, the largest naturally formed lake in the state of Texas, and it's on the state line with Louisiana. I'll also put a link in the description on a Texas Parks and Wildlife video that they did on the paddlefish. And this is really a living fossil. They have been around for over 300 million years and they've reintroduced them into this area and it's a really interesting video. Barely sprinkling when I pulled in here. Uh, so it wasn't too bad, you know, backing in. And so we're just gonna kind of relax. I haven't even unhitched yet or anything. And Gemma's in her spot. <laughs> it's beautiful. Really hilly again. And the lake is just really pretty. I can't wait to show y'all and see they go down there and look it's really foggy it's gonna be nice so what do you do when it's raining when you get to a campground just relax jupe said just relax and lick my pillows <laughs> this is the armadillo loop Gemma was licking the grill last night <sighs> I'm gonna start taking a picture of all the trash I find at these campsites. Just do a sweep. Look, I found a disgusting marshmallow trash and there's spaghetti noodles on the table. <sighs> Foil. I mean, I know lots of people have kids and stuff and it's kind of hard to do a sweep, but just do a quick sweep of the campground. Marshmallows are not good for raccoons and possums and stuff. That makes them sick. Just pick up after yourself. <laughs> we are going to go check out the big cypress trees. What this area is known for. It was really foggy last night because the rain. It kind of picked up again after we came in. And then everything was just really foggy but it's quiet, really pretty. Okay, we made it down to part of the lake. This is Mill Pond. This is a little break off pond. And then you have the bio and that leads to the larger Caddo Lake. And those little stumps are called, they call them cypress knees. What do y'all think about this? Some little baby lilies. There's alligators out here, so I would love to be able to get a canoe or a kayak, but that's the problem with having the poodles. And I even checked on rover.com, but there wasn't anybody around to watch them. This is kind of neat. This shows you the boat lanes. This is a you know, big paddling area. So there's the state park where we are. So you can kind of see it's just off of that big cypress bio. And some people say bayou, but down here in the south we say bio. And here it shows all the different boat lanes. That's pretty cool. And then Louisiana, let's see, okay, there's, so that's how close we are to Louisiana. We're right near the state line. I found out that pumping noise that I heard last night. It sounds like the African queen, I swear. It's a pump jack. And the lady said, the park ranger said that when the leaves are off the trees like they are now, you start to hear things. Like you hear the road more and you hear the train more. Here's the pup jack. We had to greet lots of people. Now we're on the forest, one of the forest trails that goes around the perimeter. So you can see how different this is just from around the lake area. 
the ferns. I mean, this is a very green, moist area of Texas. I mean, obviously we're close to Louisiana, so that tells you something. And it's just beautiful. Look at the colors. You know, there are a lot of people in this park, but you would never know it. It's just really quiet. So if you're stuck up north and wintering, winterizing your camper, <laughs> just come down to Texas in the fall. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Oh, look at that fern on that tree. I think it said this was a steep trail. I can't remember. Oh, black walnut trees. Okay, here we go, starting up the hills a little bit. Oh, cool. Cottonmouth, salamander. Neat. This stuff is called giant cane. So it used to be habitat for buffalo and other animals. Here's some more of it. In the bamboo family. Okay, we're gonna start going uphill. Look how nice. That's kind of neat to have these stairs. It might help with erosion. I don't know. It's got holes in it, which is neat. See the little holes? That's good. This goes up to the CCC shelter. Look at that thing. Built in 1933 by the Civilian Conservation Corps. Their motto was, what is it? We get the job done. Boy, we need that today, don't we? We need to get the job done. Okay, we're gonna go up a little higher. Let's go doggy. Going back down. It is pretty steep. It smells so good. I don't know what that smell is, what the chemical is so when the when the sunlight heats up the leaves and stuff. It's just, it's just a certain smell. It's not not the conifer smell that you smell up. In Colorado, New Mexico, oh, it's different. It might be pine tree. I don't know. It smells like maybe the oak leaves are a little bit warm. I don't know. I'm not, not sure what that smell is, but it, it takes me right back when I was a kid playing in the woods. We're going down. <laughs> it's, it's much steeper than it looks, that's for sure. Oh, there's a little bridge way down there. Okay. Hmm. This is so nice down here. We came up, it's pretty steep. And there's a little bridge. You must stop falling. And then there's other bridge that we're gonna go over. Now we're back down from the trails and we're on this little other picnic area that's on the lake. There's a lot of little areas. There's people out there canoeing. Neat. You might not know, we do have black bears in Texas, and I think this was a good sign. You better know what you're shooting at. These cabins are really nice. Man, some of them have bathrooms, some of them don't. Some of them have fireplaces. Looks like, yeah. There's different types of cabins, so some of them are larger. Look at that cabin. Look at that, how nice. These are like legit cabins. <laughs> I had to go back up to the park headquarters because I changed my mind about staying. And so just the way it was, I had to change campsites. So that's not a problem. They're, they didn't have two campsites at the same spot for you know two nights in a row. So I'd gone up to the camp host and changed my campsite, which wasn't a big deal at all. And this was the road coming back down into the campsites. I don't know why the camper is squeaking so much. Somebody tell me why this thing is 
all of a sudden squeaking. Sounds terrible. Need some grease. Oh, that's pretty. We'll come back to the lake later. Look for alligators. Let's see. This is kind of confusing. Hello! <laughs> Firewood is for donation. And here's some of the smaller camp or cabins. On the left, there's one of the camp guys. I saw him taking out some of the ashes from the fire pits. And they do the, they clean the sites. And this is all newly paved and the sites were really level. I didn't even unhook and that was level, it was fine. Cleaning the fire pit. going to our new little spot down the way. Okay.